All right, so here's an easel example. Uh, determine the equivalent single axle load for the design life, which was 25 years. Uh, right off the bat, you are given a lot of information for you have a six lane rural interstate. So this is the plan view of that road and this is the profile view. We'll get back to that later. Uh, it is forecast that there will be about 12,000 vehicles that travel on that road in each direction. Of that 12,000, there'll be 8% of them will be a two axle truck that kind of looks like this. And each one of those axles carries about 6,000 pounds, or at least it transfers 6,000 pounds to the ground. You also have 10% of that 12,000 that is made up of a three axle truck, which is uh, carrying or transferring 12,000 pounds per axle to the ground. And then the rest of the percentage is made up by cars or passenger cars, which when doing ESOL uh, problems, equivalent single axle loads, the amount of load that's transferred from a car is so small that it's neg negligible, and therefore you do not have to uh, calculate an ESOL for it. It says 40% of the traffic in the design lane. Uh, by the way, 40% of traffic in the design lane, in most cases our design lane would be the right lane, right? So, because the left lanes are the passing lane and most of our traffic, especially truck, truck traffic travels in the right lane. So about 40% travels there. The design life is said to be 25 years. And again, we have a growth rate of about 4% per year. And I'm assuming that that 4% is for both of these truck types. Sometimes it can only be 2% of this and 4% of this. So you got to be careful. Make sure it's for both of them. Unless otherwise stated, it will be. And then you have a structural number of five. So what that means is, if you remember, a structural number is uh, uh, a number that is assigned to the structural strength of the entire pavement system. So that's what we're saying, structural number equals five. So we want to determine what the easel is for the 25 year. I already got my solution ready to go. And one thing I know I'm going to need is the easel equation, which I already have written down here. So as you see, the way I have it set up, I'm first going to do, going to do the easel for the two axle truck and then the easel for the three axle truck and then combine the two and I end up with the total. So let's get started on that. The easel for two axle truck. Well, I need to figure out what, how many number of axles do I have? Well, there's two. I can see it right there. And also, it's also told to me. So let's go ahead and put my two there. I need to multiply it by a factor, an equivalency factor. That's what that FE is. And so that equivalency factor is found in the table. So that means I need to go to the tables and still remember that I have about six kips or 6,000 pounds that are being placed per axle. So I need to determine whether or not I'm going to use this table, which is for single axles or tandem axles. Well, when you look at this picture, you can see that this is a single axle. It's not tandem because I don't have two wheels right next to each other. So we're going to be dealing with this side. And remember I said it was six kips. So I'm on this row and structural number five up here. So when I line those two things together, I end up with a 0.010. So I can just go ahead and put that into my equation. 0 0.010. Um, so the next thing that I would have to do is determine what the average daily traffic is. And so I know that the average daily traffic is 12,000, but I'm not gonna put just 12,000 there because it's only 8% of that 12,000 is what is um, on the road uh, in that form. You, so here we go, 12,000 times 0 0.08. And now, by multiplying those two things, I will be able to determine how many vehicles of this type will be on the road. Go ahead and Add my 365 into the equation. So now I have a yearly information. 
and I know of that traffic within that year, about 40% of it is going to be in the design lane. So 0 0.4. And then the last thing I need to multiply is my growth rate. And you know what? I don't have the growth rate already calculated, but I do know that I can go to either the table or use this equation. So here's this equation. I'll go ahead and just put some numbers in there. Now, if you remember that in this example, we said that the design life for 25 years, and it'll be growing at a rate of 4% per year, all the traffic will be growing at the same rate. So to apply this to this equation, I'll have one plus 0 0.04 raised to 25 minus one divided by 0 0.04 and what I should end up getting if I calculate this all out ends up being 41.65 let me see let me see if I can check myself using this uh, the design period is 25 uh, and the growth rate is 4% so I'm aligning my 25 with my 4% and I do end up with 41.65 so they do line up with one another let me just go ahead and put that in here 41.65 and now I can figure out what my easily uh, is for that type of vehicle that ends up being in the millions a little over one million do the same thing here so for the three axle type of vehicle well there's three single axles here I can see so I'm just gonna go ahead and put three I need to multiply it by the amount of load that the road feels from that vehicle in order to do that I need to come right back to my chart here my table and line up 12 kips with structure number five and it looks like I get a point one eight nine 0 0.189 and again a portion of that 12,000 will be there represented by that type of vehicle so it's just 10% of that and then everything else I can pretty much keep the same because I didn't say there was a different growth rate for any one of these tra truck types but I can say it which means if I did say there was a different growth rate here, then I wouldn't be using that same number. But I didn't, so I'll use the same number. It ends up giving me a number, again, in the millions. All right. So when I add these two up, I end up getting a total ESO of five million three hundred and four thousand nine hundred and seventy seven point one and that is the number of eighteen kilopound loads that are being placed onto the road for the entire design life of 25 years. I want to do just a little bit more here. I want to pose a question, change up some things in red, and ask the question, and I'll even answer it for you in red down here. What if, what if instead of it being three single axles I went ahead and I changed it and now this last bit right here would be a tandem axle so that now we have three I'll say two single axles here and one tandem axle I wonder how that would change down here 
well of course it'll only be affecting this one right here because that's the uh, that's the only one um, uh, so what I would need to do here is add on and take off a couple of things first of all one thing that I would take off instead of it being three single axles multiplied by 0.189 it'll only be two single axles so what I would do in that case is just change, change that three to two okay and then I need to add on this piece here okay so see if I could maybe make this work at the top so I have nine 0 0.189 now multiplying it times 2 and that has its own parentheses but I want to add on one axle or one tandem axle that is going to be multiplied by a certain number and that number is going to be found not on this side not with the single axles but over here with the tandem axles now if you remember that number was 12 kips so 12 kips of single axle or sorry tandem axle at a structural number of 5 would give me uh, 0 0.014 0 And so that entire thing would be multiplied by all the rest. And that would change this number and ultimately change this number here. So you can see just by changing it to a tandem axle, uh, you probably, in most cases, uh, would decrease the amount that is felt by the road or the amount of loads that are being placed on the road for the entire 25 year period because the tandem axle actually transfers a little bit less how can you see that well you can just compare the two this is what you get with a single axle at 12 kips this is what you get from a tandem axle at 12 kips it's a little bit less so the road doesn't feel as much